Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Gummy Search and Reddit to do user research for your product or startup. As you guys know, I am building an app as we speak, and I'm going through the entire process and documenting it on my journey. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel to follow along. A very, very powerful tool that I use is called Gummy Search, and it really provides a lot of insight on how your users are thinking and what they're searching for with product features. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is Gummy Search, and it's a very powerful tool that allows you to really dig deep into different Reddit threads and find conversations for problems that people are having so you can provide a solution with your app or you know, add new features if you already have an app. So what I'm building is a trading app that helps traders master their emotions. So I compiled a few different subreddits so I could zero in on different conversations people are having with trading. What are their biggest pain points with trading? And how are they talking about it? What's the language that they can use? And then you can take all this information and also infuse it into your copy so it speaks directly to the people looking for your app. So I'm gonna use an example that I did for my app and the keyword that I wanted to look for is trading journal. I really wanted to see how people were talking about trading journals. And then what we're gonna do next is you take these keywords and then you plug them into a keyword tool to see what the search volume is and then you can really understand the need for that specific feature. If there's a lot of people searching it, it's likely that there's a lot of people that need that problem solved. So for me, what I did was I, this is gonna actually take a little bit of time for you to really kind of dig in, but I clicked almost every single one of these threads that popped up within reason. I probably went to through about 30 different threads and read through them. This really helps, helped me get into the mindset and the psychology of my users. So let's look at this one. After eight years in the markets, I wanted to share some hard earned wisdom with those of you walking this path. The journey of a trader is unlike any other. So he's basically suggesting keep a trading journal. Your greatest teacher is your own experience, but only if you study it honestly. Review your, review your, your decisions without judgment, but with unwavering honesty. The market doesn't care about your feelings, your bills, or your dreams. This is the cruelty. It's neutral. So then you can click reply on Reddit, and then you can look at what the comments are saying. Let's see. Hey there, sorry to invest last April. Actually, let's do this. So you can do uh, a find and replace. So uh, control F and see if anyone else mentions trading journal in the comments, but you can see how they kind of respond to his post. Is it getting a lot of upvotes? Is it getting a lot of comments? This one has gotten a decent amount of upvotes and comments. And if it has, then you're going to want to take this and copy and paste it into a Google Doc because you're going to use this to create a custom GPT. And then you're going to drill down even further on this need and use case for your app. So here is mine. I just copy and pasted it. I did not copy and paste the comments because I think that just would have taken too long. I just want the meat of it because the signal is that all these posts got a lot of upvotes that mention trading journals and a lot of comments. So because of that, it's reasonable to believe that these users are either agreeing with them or looking, you know, for some solution to this trading journal problem. Okay. Um, so let's continue on after eight years trading journal recommendation. So this is actually a good one. I just started trading on top step X looking way for weighted. So this is kind of how I figured out. I found some trading journal apps, but I did not 
see a clear number one. So again, this is how you can find your competitors as well. So that's how I found my competitors. People suggested other trading journals. I went and tried the trading journals to see what features were missing. So trading journal past evaluation. So this guy's just posting a trading journal. So I don't think it's going to be very useful for me. I just made a training journal and I need users to tell me how terrible it is. I remember seeing this one, but you can kind of see this guy's creating a trading journal and then you can see what features he's adding and everything. And then you can kind of decide either to improve off of them. But again, this shows a need for a trading journal, another need for it. So let's keep scrolling down. The power of a positive feedback loop. Okay. Essentially, what does a trading journal do? It creates a feedback loop. But if you write it by hand, how do you go back and review the trading journal in a reasonable amount of time? So let's see. Trading journal, the power of a positive feedback loop. So this is very insightful because it kind of tells me what could be a good thing to add, like what they're looking for in a trading journal. They're trying to create a power, a feedback loop. And this is everything he's basically journaling. Let's see. Over time, I've gathered insights that have helped me navigate some of the highs and lows, and I figured they would be valuable. Here's my post. I won't sugarcoat it. I've been in a bit of a drawdown recently, and when all you seem to get is negative feedback for your effort, it really starts to wear on you. So it got me thinking. So this is basically him trying to educate people on what to do as a trader as he's going through this losing streak right now. So I think that's really valuable into the mindset of a trader, what you should record right here, especially, did I take my setup correctly? Did I enter correctly? How much did I risk? What was the market environment like? Did I sleep well? Those are all relevant things that people should be tracking when they're journaling their trades, but most of them aren't. Right. So again, I copied and paste, pasted that in this doc because it's useful insight. It's this is great user research. Okay. So this is a really good one 173 upvotes and 33 comments. So here's a good one questions you should answer in your written trade journal if you're buying. Okay. This is really valuable because it got a lot of really, really great feedback. And he's giving a lot of insight on what should be in a trading journal. Once you're in a trade, you have no control and you are in trade management mode. If your analysis was good, the stock will move higher. Here's the information you should be collecting once you enter. Okay, so I think you're starting to get the point. I'm not going to keep going down this stuff because it's more specific to my app. But I just wanted to talk through it so you kind of understand what I'm looking for. So to sum it up, look for posts and subreddits. Look for posts that have gotten a lot of upvotes and comments. I personally went through some of the ones that didn't because I just really wanted to get up to speed on how people were like thinking and, and what they wanted from a trading journal. But here's another one. Some surprising things from my trading journal, 205 upvotes, 47 comments. Okay, great. So now you have something that actually has a pretty large need. This next step, you can actually do two, you can do it two different ways, okay? If you have a product or service, you can use a keyword tool and start looking for keywords to then search in gummy search, or you can search different keywords and then see how much search volume they get in gummy search and then decide if you wanna add that feature. So what I did initially is I searched trading and then I drilled down. So trading and keyword suggestions, trading 
Forex trading. So trading is a, a massive, massive market because it has multiple keywords with millions and millions of search volume, right? So you can, on this tool, you can search questions, you can search prepositions, related keywords, and then you basically build a massive keyword list. But um, if you really wanted to do it in reverse, watch this. You can take this, go into gummy search and search Forex trading. And then it shows all the subreddits and the comments and the posts about Forex trading. And then you can get in the mind of a Forex trader, right? Trading for beginners. Let's see what this 1.2 million is a lot of search volume. Let's try that. Trading for beginners, trading strategies. Here are my book recommendations if you know any great reads. Seeking feedback for B Pro Trade for beginners. Is $40 a day a realistic goal for a beginner after maybe three to six months? Lots of upvotes. So you can I can I can I can do two things here. So if I'm building a trading journal app and I'm zeroing in on the trading journal keywords, I can create content around trading for beginners. So I can attract beginners to my app through content creation, YouTube video creation. And that could be like a funnel. Hey, if you're a beginner, you should really start here. You should really start journaling your trades. So you can build a solid feedback loop and a solid process for a winning trader, right? So in this case, let's look at trading journal. So trading journal, that's a decent amount of keywords, 33,000. It's not that many, but it's a very niche keyword. So then you connect all these other keywords. So I can take trading for beginner, make content around that, weave in trading journal, and that's how you start ranking in SEO and on YouTube videos and stuff like that. But trading journal. How to journal trading, how to make trading journal, why is trading important, how to use Notion for trading journal. So this tells me people are looking for trading journals, but they're going to use Notion. There's a lot of manual input there that takes a lot of time that most people will do. What is a trading journal? These are all keywords I can use in my content strategy for the key feature I have on my app to attract new users to the platform. This is basically SEO. What I'm explaining to you, this is the SEO process. So once you do that, I'm not gonna go too deep into this because I think it's pretty self-explanatory and you copy and paste all that content from Reddit into a doc, then you go to chat GPT and then you create a custom GPT and you train it with that content okay so i'm not going to go through step by step how you do it but if you go to chat gpt you basically create a custom gpt you download this as a pdf okay once you download it as a pdf you upload it into your custom gpt and then you give it instructions right and that's how you basically start with it. And then you can really drill down. So this is trained in all the content I pulled from Reddit. So what you can do with this custom GBT is huge. You can create content that speaks to these beginner minded people looking for a trading journal. You can zero in on how they think and what they're looking for in a trading journal. So here we go. How can I improve my trading mindset? Start measuring backward, not forward. Build a daily journaling routine, five to 10 minutes max. Create a positive feedback loop. Tackle your three emotional mistakes. This can all be used for content, for SEO, for YouTube videos to drive traffic to your website, to your app so you can get your users. Let's ask them this. What are the top five things I should journal about? for trading your emotional state 
why it matters, rule adherence. Every trader has a rule. Decision quality, not just PL. Was this a good trade? Key lessons. Every session has something to teach, but if you don't write it down, you won't retain it. Weekly pattern review. This is fantastic. Any others you would suggest? Again, I can use this all for content. I'm gonna use it for content. I can use it to understand the psychology of what people are looking for in a trading journal. I can go a step further. I can go back to Gummy Search and look for trading for beginners and see what new people are posting about questions. Those posts won't get a lot of upvotes because They'll probably just direct you to the FAQ for the Reddit thread. However, I can understand where these users are starting in their trading journal, and then I can create content to try to intercept them and onboard them into my app. So here's some more pre-market preparation, missed trades, avoided trades, time-based triggers, confidence rating. And that's pretty much it. That is how you do user research for whether you want to create a new app or you want to add features to an app or you want to drill down into something hyper niche that no one is really has has really created or maybe there's an app that already exists and you think they're missing the mark on features and then you can really drill down and um create an app with better features, a better experience or whatever you think. So that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.